Good day YouTube viewers. This is another video short tutorial on how to clean and restore suede leather boots. Unlike my last video, that one was uh, a smooth leather. This one's a suede leather, so it's a, a little bit different process of cleaning and restoring your boots. Now what I have here in front of me are boots that I've had since I got out of the Marine Corps a few years back. Uh, these ones are actually fairly new. They weren't, I didn't have them that long before I received my discharge, so they're not too bad of horrible shape. However, you can see that there's a lot of, uh, I don't know what this is, black marks on the boots, commonly seen in a lot of suede boots. I have a few hiking boots that have the same type of markings. Really hard to get out unless you know how to do it. So this is a short video on how to get those out. Now, same as the last one. This is the finished product once it's completed. You can see the color has been restored a lot better. It looks almost like it's new out of the box. Got all the blemishes out. The toe is completely flawless. The sides of the boot look very nice. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean the boots. Now what I have here in front of me is a standard suede leather boot brush cleaner. It's going to have the rubber bristles on this side, a nice brush on this side, not too hard. You don't want to use metal brush bristles. These soft plastic ones are okay. You can pick up this kit at Walmart for about $12. Most of them carry it in stock. It comes with all the materials you see here. It also has an eraser to get out those deep stains. This rag came with it that you'll use to dry off the suede leather cleaner after you spray it on and uh, scrub it in. Um, you can use any rag, you don't have to use this, but since it's included in the kit, I figured might as well. This is the leather cleaner for suede. You can use these for cowboy boots, hiking boots, any type of suede leather boots. Comes with a scrubber cap, so you pop it off and you can spray your suede and then scrub it in. And this is the final bottle you'll use. This is the protector suede. So what it does is it essentially keeps your boots waterproof up to a certain extent. The manufacturer recommends that after you've exposed your boots to uh, a wet environment that you go ahead and dry them off and then respray more of this material on. So First thing you're going to want to do is clean the boots. You want to clean the entire boot, so I'm going to go ahead and start that. You'll use the rubber bristles to kind of agitate the surface and get all the heavy dirt residue off. Excuse the poor lighting, I'm trying to do this in the bathroom and I got one side of the room that's lit up and the other side's dark. Again, you want to lightly buff this in. You don't want to push too hard. You just want to get it so that the surface is agitated and all the heavy dirt and debris comes off the boots. After you're done buffing in that rubber bristles into the boots, you want to go ahead and brush off any dirt that may still be on there. Now you can't see it in the video, but I'm seeing fine dust coming right off the boots and get all that 
moon dust off from 29 palms. Now you can see here, most of it's been pretty well cleaned off. Here in the front, you can still see some black spots right here, as well as right here. Now this is where you're going to want to use your eraser, which is this here. And you want to lightly buff into it. You can use the long side or the, the point side. It really doesn't matter. What you're going to do is you're basically going to rub it in here, and that's going to help lift all those hard stains to bring them out. Now this isn't going to do the job by itself. You're still going to probably want to use some of that boot cleaner, but this will get some of the mild stains out. Now this eraser material does leave a little mess, so you may have to vacuum up once you're done, but you can see it's taking quite a bit of it out. You can go over it again as necessary until you can lift the stain mostly out, but you also got some shoe boot cleaner you're going to be able to put on as well. Now the next step is going to be to get this here. This is the Kiwi Cleaner and you're going to spray this on the entire boot. You'll do it sections at a time, but you don't want to spot clean with this. You want to clean the entire boot, otherwise it's going to leave uh, one side, you know, it's going to be cleaner than the other. So you want to make sure you got an even clean around the entire boot. So you just pop this cap here, give the can a good shake. And I'll always start with this front toe here, where these eyelets are. I want to do this entire area first and then move to the rest of the boot. That's good. And you'll get this brush here and you'll start to buff it in. Now you don't have to push very hard. These bristles are hard plastic, so it's going to do most of the work for you. You'll see some of these areas are tougher than others, like right there, there's a little speckle. So you can apply more of this cleaning solution if you want to and go over that little area. Now I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes. Once it's dry, I'll uh, continue recording and we'll spray on the protector. Okay, so 
The boot's dry. I did use this rag just to kind of dab it a little, and then I use this brush here to kind of rework the suede. So now it's pretty much dry. So now we're going to go ahead and spray this protector cleaner on. Now you want to use this in a well ventilated area, a small, small room. Uh, you may start to get dizzy. So you shake the can a little bit. And you'll just do one coat. You don't have to oversaturate your boots with this. You'll do multiple coats as needed. That's pretty much it. Let it air dry and you're good to go. Thank you for watching.